and Sinead O'Connor has completely lost it. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smarter Jannah. Mashallah great news, Sinead O'Connor has accepted Islam. Excellent, but some people are using it as an opportunity once again to bash Islam. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> We shouldn't be laughing about Sinead O'Connor's conversion to Islam. Laughing? Who's laughing Jack? Tell me so I can deal with them. Nice glasses by the way. Sinead O'Connor is a legend. She's the Irish singer behind some of the biggest power ballads we know, particularly Nothing Compares to You. That's the kind of song that everybody, including me, loves belting out. Not me mate, never heard of it. The most recent news is that Sinead has snapped, she's changed her name and she's converted to Islam. So you define snapping as converting to Islam? Well according to you then one in four people on this planet has snapped. Good on them I say. Her new name is, um, I'm sorry I'm probably gonna mispronounce this as I do on all my videos, her name is Shahuda. Yes you did. And if you know you mispronounce things, shouldn't you be making more of an effort then? Now come on, you can't tell me that that's the work of a rational person. Dressed like that, singing the Islamic call to prayer, doing these hand movements and posting it online, I mean it's like a cry for attention or something. What? She's an artist mate, she expresses herself using a voice and her body movement. Embracing a way of life and feeling spiritually elated is not a cry for help, rather it's the exact opposite. If that's the case, what about gospel music, jazz music, the blues? According to you they're probably all screaming for help. Yeah, we know that Sinead O'Connor has a troubling past. Sinead has had a long struggle with her mental health and Sinead O'Connor has completely lost it. Cut ties with her family too after she overdosed on drugs that she was all by herself and there was nobody in her life except her doctor and her psychiatrist. Ah mate, that's an ad hominem argument. By pointing out her instabilities, he's trying to discredit her choice. You need to refute her reasons, not her state. It goes to show how this ideology works. It preys on the vulnerable, it preys on the weak and the mentally unstable and those who simply have nothing. Ah, again, logically weak for many reasons. Number one, I would question, then why isn't every weak and vulnerable person a Muslim? Number two, what's the evidence for this? Number three, don't the people decide for themselves? Or when you go in that state, Islam suddenly takes over without your control. Number four, here Islam is described as some conscious force. It's not, it's just a framework. It's not some sort of boogeyman, yeah? If a person's asked to describe Muhammad Salah, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, vulnerable and weak are probably the last words you're gonna use to describe them. It provides meaning to life and gives people a sense of being part of a community and it fills the gap left behind by the decline of our own faith and traditions. And if Sinead O'Connor has finally found her voice as a Muslim and she's been embraced by this new community. Hey look who's coming round! Maybe I jumped the gun and thought he was just some random Islamophobe and rebel media. Maybe I need to take back my words. Then I worry how impressionable she will be when she begins to meet the extremist side of her new faith. <sighs> I was clearly wrong. Again where did this radical Islam come into it? He's jumped the gun, in fact forget jumping the gun, he's so far beyond the gun that he can't even see the gun anymore. In fact the gun is a dot to him. Let's get back to the facts, statistically speaking only 412 arrests were made due to terrorism last year and expecting her to be radicalized is not only statistically improbable but it's downright patronizing to her as well. So pray to Sinead O'Connor, she's sick. I honestly don't know how you can say most of this drivel whilst keeping a straight face mate, it's beyond me. In conclusion, she was in a very unhappy, dark and unstable place. She found the light and she became stable, happy, found purpose. Rather than being happy for her, this guy's putting her down. All I can say is you are one jealous, unhappy, 
cranky pants. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time inshallah. Salamu alaikum.